You're watching Come Chat with me. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. And tonight, we're here promoting a great event, big event, right? At Milk River, that's where we're at, I must say. And you don't know, Saturday, November the 3rd. And it's Reggae Culture Salute 2018, right? Yes, and I'm yes. sitting next to the lovely Miss Sharon Gordon. How are you? I am very good. I am blessed. Very blessed. All right, me. I'm mean, I mean, you're blessed, you know. Why are you taking me name now? A Sharon bless and Ziggy bless. Ziggy bless and Sharon bless. <laughs> love that, love I love that, your vibes. I love your vibes so much. And thank you for being here and for having me on. How you doing? Of course. When you call, welcome. When you say the word. One of the things I'd like to say to folks, it's a family event. Um, we are known for doing a family event. That means you can bring children. Children 12 and under are able to come for free. But you can bring young people. Because we believe that the culture has to be exposed. We have to create a space where we can share the culture with, with, with the young, the old, and in between. Record Culture Salute this year is celebrating, we call it a festival of independent artists. And you yourself had said you love the vibes. And you heard it because you're a music um, person. So you get it. If you if you check out who's performing, you get it that the vibe of this show is gonna be really sweet. New Kingston band, always rising, always rising and really to an. I mean, really, you know, we gotta give them their props. Matter of fact, because of that, they're gonna get the Simba Award, which is the Young Lions Award. And yeah, because exactly what you said, they are really rising to the occasion. Epic Order is a band that will start here with musicians that played for. You name it, Jack Cure, Damien Marley, Bushman, Shaka Demos and players. is a come together of musicians, coming together of musicians forming this band called Epic Order. The aim is to bring a message of love, you know what I mean? And surprisingly enough, all of us were raised in the church, you understand? But we have that love for reggae music because what? We're hearing it all the days of our life, you know what I mean? We see the influence, we see the impact, so we have to respect reggae music. So this showcase November 3rd is a perfect opportunity for us to bring forward our music because reggae is the tool that we use, you know what I mean, to send our message. When we say we start the show at 9, we start the show at 9. We don't wait till, no, 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 we start the show at 9. No, 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 we don't, uh-uh, we don't play that game because you see the person that showed up early with their children, with their family, they are just as important as the person that is showing up at midnight. Everybody is important, and especially those, we reward those who come early. And, and what you must understand is, because we don't pack up the show with a lot of artists, each artist gets to breathe and perform and give you a full course what meal. missing. Well, you don't know, reggae music is the people's music, you know, because it's not just really fun and games. Remember, remember say, is reggae music free, Mandela? Saying reggae music stop apartheid and all them things there as far as my knowledge coming up as a youth. So we know, say, well then, reggae music is a deep music within the heritage. And then now, to us as a people, that's what keeps us going. Because when you're sad and all them things there, and a man, you see me I say? A man got go, go turn on a Bob Marley. Don't worry. You see me I say? A them things there. So we have to preserve the music in a way. And when we say preserve, we can't really sell out the thing you have been around this business forever i know that having been around with ninja man and everyone so you know that to have a johnny osborne in the building is major and so for family and friends if you are a dad or a grandpa who used to love you some johnny osborne then bring the youngsters so they can understand why it is you say what you say and why you play the music you play let them come hear him and experience him you know what i'm saying and that's what Reggae Culture Salute this year is about. It's really a celebration of that, that, that spirit of independence that has kept these artists going. You spoke about many more and how many years you have been watching many more. That is that independent spirit. New Kingston, it is that independent spirit. It's, it's going out there, moving, be, believing so much in your product and your craft that you are able to not be compromised and commodified by it. You know, so we're celebrating them. I'm on the, I'm on the right track. I'm moving on the right track. From I was born and know myself and remember music has always been the center of the Jamaican society even before television. We are the keepers, are like we're the gardeners of the music. 
you know, it's, it's been in our hands to garden and nurture. So we must make sure that we really keep it because people from all over the world is embracing it and loving it. Come on out and be a part of Reggae Culture Salute on November 3rd because the motto of CPR, of the Coalition to Preserve Reggae, is working together to make things work. And you see how we are working together, Ziggy Bless? You saw you said come chat with me yeah. a week time. That's what we are talking about. Come make a reason. Huh? Yeah. I make we come together now and celebrate and be a part of the thing so that next year we can come bigger and better and stronger. Sure. That's how we do the thing. And we can't do it without you. So we're telling you, eventbrite.com, get your tickets November third doors open at seven showtime is nine we're not a late show so please do not come here at one o'clock expecting to see many more or johnny they'll be coming off the stage and we're going to be hanging out with with these folks in the back um having a good time talking about how great the show was so we're telling you come early it's that kind of event